All right, here we go. All right, you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for tuning in. And um, this Woshin KG UV90 Mate um, has its little mysteries and secrets. And I just wanted to share with you guys if anybody's struggling trying to figure out this thing, how to get it to scan the airband frequencies. Um, it's within the, the range, the receive range that it works on airband, but you got to program it right and within chirp. So let's, uh, I'm going to show you guys, let me get that little clip here. I'm just kind of throwing this together. <laughs> let me get my little, uh, video clip here for you guys. This radio is cool, man. I just, I love the radio and, uh, it's just, it's really, it's worth the effort of getting it figured out. So, um, I have this, uh, let's see if this is going to play. I hope it is. So here's, here's the video. Ooh, that's, that's loud. This is just a clip. So you can see if you're close, if you get a, a good antenna up there and if you're within range, um, I'm a, like I said, I'm about an hour away, so that's pretty darn good, I think. Okay, Bob, Julian, uh, just checking in 19,500, descending 10,000, we have problem. 19,500, descending. F so he's pretty high up there. Yeah. So those guys, the, the aircraft's coming out good. If you get into a position where you're, you can hear, hear them pretty good, it's going to work really well. So, um, okay. Um, so that's just a little clip to show you guys that it actually does work. It does receive airband. Um, let's go over here to chirp and show you how to program it real quick. So on in chirp, you upload frequencies in the memories right here. So, I talked a lot about scan groups and in scan group one, I think I, I don't remember it. Well, let's see right, real quick. S channel scanner groups, scan group one, I have one through 64 and then scan group two, I have 65 channel 65 through 83 scan group three is airband. I named it airband. Um, 84 through 97 and what I did is there's some AM frequencies up there and then there's also some FM frequencies at the airport that I wanted to put in so let's go over so these are uh, 84 through 97 so let's go look at those 84 scroll down so 84 right here through 97 and there's the, uh, not, there's the FM one. So over here you can put, you set AM on there, the mode, right? We I went over this stuff, but, um, as long as you got that in, you got the frequencies in there in consecutive order, then you have it set to AM, the ones that are actually AM, you go back over to settings. And you go over here to where it says area A, click on area A and 
right down here it shows scan group and then that's menu number reference number so scan group is menu 49 so my airband frequencies are within scan group 3 it lets you choose which one here so my airbands are with scan, within scan group 3 I set the squelch for 4 um, caller ID you don't have to mess with I set the frequency step, step to 2.5 and um, the scan mode I set the TO so it, it stops on a frequency and then it waits for like three seconds and then it'll continue scanning and so what you have to do is set your scan range to current band and then put in your frequency range uh, frequency scan start and then I just put 108 and then 153 but the key is to have it set on your scan group remember my scan group channel scanner group is airband it's 84 through 97 and um, channel 84 so I set work mode I wanted number and frequency so I set channel to 84 and then scan group uh, 3 and set to current band and then I just put in uh, the frequency range so air band is uh, the frequencies I wanted were 118 to 135 ish so um, that seemed to work so um, then you just upload that to your radio and what that means is area A means uh, let's go back over here to the my camera I'll show you guys um, area A is actually you can see the the two bands this thing if if you uh, well let's just go to this thing right here so area A is the top area that's the only place you can scan for AM frequencies it won't work down at the bottom one um, but it's set for area A and then uh, up here on the top range um, you go in and you can set your scanner group um, to uh, to scan the scan group 3 or whatever scan group you put your AM frequencies in I know it's kind of confusing but in the manual there's a tiny little section in here where it says that auto AM det or detect AM detect says auto AM so have your radio set to auto AM and then down here where it says note there you read through all the notes and the very last it says only workable on a area so what is a area that's where you go into your chirp and select area a settings and then that is your top readout of your of your display so um, then you go into menu um, and if you want to scan airband you just go to menu scan groups and then whatever scan group you've set for uh, your AM airband so yeah it's kind of weird but it works and um, I don't know if I've really seen another video on that I mean you can figure it out through the through the manual but um, it's uh, <laughs> just all the smallest little section says only works in area a so I hope that helps you guys and I hope that made sense you just got to upload your frequencies and then go into uh, go into your area a settings set your scan groups first um, so whatever scan group you want to be your airband put those frequencies in there and you can set the channels say 84 to 97 or whatever you want it could be 1 through 10 but set channel uh, scan groups and then um, go back into area A settings and make sure you set that scan group uh, to that 
area A. So anyhow, thanks for watching, you guys. If this helped, please subscribe and like the video. And I appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below, and we'll see what we can do.